My name is uh, Ronald Briggs. I'm a Gamilaroi man, originally from Moree in northwestern New South Wales. Um, I've worked in the library sector since the early 1990s, mostly at the State Library of New South Wales, where I'm currently employed as mostly as a curator uh, of Indigenous collections and, and exhibitions that happen here at the library. But I've also done a lot of work, of course, with, with the Aboriginal people and communities that visit the library and want to know more about us and our collections. Protocol 7 of the Atsalem Protocols relates particularly to offensive material that, that you may, or you probably do, have in your collection. Um, and this, and a lot of the time it relates to the more historical stuff, the way we think about Aboriginal people and the way we think about Aboriginal society and culture. I think libraries have an important role in addressing material in their, within their collections that may be considered offensive to Aboriginal people. Uh, and the biggest reaction I get against this protocol relates to librarians who, like me, are very, very anti-censorship. It's not about censorship. This is about opening up your collections, letting the community, letting Aboriginal people know what you have and what they think about it. I mean, it's, it's, you have your own rules and your own ways of cataloguing and describing this material, but how does the Aboriginal community react and, and th think about that? And if, it's just a common courtesy, I guess, to ask. It also relates to material that, that's, um, that describes cultural activity um, and cultural practices of Aboriginal people. Um, it's a lot of work that we have in, in our libraries uh, are anthropologic in nature, and that's simply the way that we've been described and recorded uh, over time. These days, it's, a, it's, it's it's easier, it's easy to ask people within your community, what do you want us to do with this material? How would you like us to describe it? How would you like us to display it even? Should we digitise it? Should we put it online? Um, is it something that we should um, uh, get your permission even to, for other people to have a look at? I'm talking about offensive material, but we also have to remember the way that, that Aboriginal people have been described and written about in the past. Working with historical collections, I'm, I get a bit immune to it. I, I recognise, you know, sometimes I you know, pick up an old missionary journal or a missionary magazine and the language is truly, to, to, to a person who's not used to it, is truly offensive. The way that they talk about your ancestors, your people, is sometimes quite confronting. Uh, the, the words used would, today would not be used in polite conversation, believe me. Us who work with these collections have to be aware that to the people who aren't used to that sort of material, they need to be made aware that this is not the library saying this, this is not the way that you would say it today, but it's uh, the way that we have been written about in the past and described in the past that needs to be addressed. And again, it's not about censorship, it's not about locking that material away and making sure that nobody ever gets to see it ever again. No, we want people to know that this is where society, our society has come from and this is the way that we've been described in the past and written about in the past and um, we do want to address it and we want you to be aware that it's not, it's not something we would do today. <laughs>